pass it on. If you're into fun and you love to play, if you like funny jokes, they put you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Ooh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Lamb Chops, play along with kids come to play along in fun things are all we ever do. Yeah, it's Lamb Chops, play along. Come join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. Bounce your bottom in your chair, bounce it here, bounce it there, and with tender loving care, bounce it, bounce it everywhere, bounce it fast. Bounce it slow, bounce it high, bounce it low. Sing while you bounce along. One more chorus of a song. Lamb chops, play along. With kids come to play along. And fun things are all we ever do. Yeah, it's lamb chops, play along. Join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. And you, and you, and you, and you. Yeah, and especially you. Now, this is a stunt that will probably work on somebody who's younger than you are. I'm younger than you are. It will probably work. Actually, it's a story. I love stories. Okay, you'll love this. It's a story about two brothers. Pete and Repeat went down to the river in a boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? Repeat. I'd be delighted to. Pete and Repeat went down to the river in a boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? Repeat. Of course. Pete and Repeat went down to the river in a boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? Repeat. Pete and Repeat went down to the river in a boat. Who was left? I can't take it anymore. This is a puppet that I call Big Mouth. It doesn't look like a puppet, you say? It looks like a three by five card. Well, that's because it is a three by five card. You can make this puppet out of a three by five card. And if you don't happen to have one, you can cut a piece of cardboard in the shape of a rectangle. That's a square that's taller than it is wide. Or you can use somebody's business card. I take it you don't necessarily have your own business card. Here's what you do. Near the bottom of the card, you draw eyelashes. There's the eyes and there's the lashes. Looks a little like lamp chop. And you take your card and you bend it. You don't fold it. You bend it in half. Then you take your knuckle and you knuckle right into the bend and your card will say hello. Say hello. Uh, hello. Hey, Big Mouth, you want to say anything else? Uh, goodbye. Well, this is definitely a puppet that will speak for itself, right? Oh, oh, oh. If ever you're at that and you can't feel yourself begin to choke, just step out of the box, straighten your socks, and tell yourself a joke. What do you get when you cross a porcupine with a balloon? I don't know. You start feeling blue Cause things are going wrong The very best thing you can do Is sing a little sing-along song Friends will start to join you And before too very long You'll know why it's a real good thing To sing a little sing-along song What do you want to sing? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on the farm he had a lamb, E-I-E-I-O. With a bear here and a bear there. Here a bear, there a bear, everywhere a bear. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, I'm next, Jerry. What'll it be, Charlie Horse? A horse, of course. Old MacDonald had a farm. Wrong. I 
dog on a pussy cat. Why do you want a cat? So on the farm, there'll be somebody for me to chase. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm, he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow here and a meow there. Here, meow there, meow everywhere, meow. You think so? Oh, yes, and I know one thing for sure. No matter how famous Lamb Chop gets, she'll always be the same. For sure. Spoiled rotten. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lamb Chop. Huh? Oh, Lamb Chop. What a surprise. It's such a beautiful, um... Uh, it's really got a, uh... Oh, uh, it's, I, I, it's a wonderful, what is it? What is it? It's a splatter painting. It's a splatter painting. How do you make a splatter painting? Oh, it's so simple. You, you lay out a lot of newspaper. Yeah. A lot of newspaper. Oh, so much newspaper. Yeah. And then you put down a piece of clean paper and you load up a stiff, stiff, stiff brush with a lot of paint and then... Oh, hi, Charlie Horse. Oh, hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. What? What is that? Hello, Charlie. Is, is something wrong? Oh, nothing wrong. Oh, good. It was past the milk. What? I said, past the milk, the milk. He said, past the milk, the milk. Thank you for the translation. All right, here's the milk. It's nice and cold. Thank you. What? I said, thank you. Hey, what have you got in your mouth? Tea. Teeth. Right. Two teeth. Good. So why are you talking like that? My God. Okay, okay. I give up. Your secret is your secret. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was cold. Oh, uh your secret is out. Uh, You've got a toothache, don't you? No, absolutely not. No toothache. Absolutely not. Forget it. Uh, forget what? Forget the toothache that I don't have. And he really does. What? Yes, he said to me that he had an awesome toothache and that he would die dead before he'd go to a dentist. You snitch. I'm not a snitch, Charlie Horse. I'm going to make an appointment with you and Dr. Cameron. I'm not going. Oh, come on, don't be a baby. Everybody goes to the dentist. Yeah, but suppose he decides to pull out one of my teeth. I've only got two teeth, and it'll be 50% of everything I have in my mouth. I'll look like this. <laughs> the dentist is not going to pull out one of your teeth, you goose. Golly, all the dentist does is he checks for cavities. Oh, cavities. Well, you know, if you brush your teeth every day, you don't get cavities. Now, you brush your teeth every day, don't you? Charlie Horse? Charlie. Something happened to my toothbrush. What happened to your toothbrush? Well, it's... Look under the painting, Charlie. Double snitch. <gasps> Is that blood? No, it's red paint. Red paint? Yeah. You see, he's been using it for months to make spalada paintings. You triple snitch. Uh, but, but, Charlie, you're, you are going to go to the dentist immediately. Do I have to? Yes, you have. What you have to do is change your attitude about dentists. I mean, you have to say, the dentist is my friend. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Come on, say it. The dentist is my friend. Say it. Say it properly. The dentist is my friend. The dentist is my friend. The dentist is my friend. He's not my best friend. It's betcha time, it's betcha time, and though I've never met ya, I know some things you can't do. I betcha, betcha, betcha. I'll teach you how to do what I propose. Ready, set, here goes. 
This is my friend Sabrina. She's six. I'm older. Yes, that's right. Nevertheless, she and I are going to show you a betcha. A betcha can't do it, you'll say to somebody. And it will astonish you. You can do it with your mother or your father or your biggest brother or sister. Sabrina, put your finger on your head. You will put your finger on your head, and then you will say, grab my wrist, and they'll grab your wrist, and you'll say, try without jerking to pull my finger off my head. And they'll go, I was trying as hard as I could. I'm going to try again. I cannot lift her finger off her head. Nobody will be able to lift your finger off unless they jerk it, which is not fair. Brian, come here. Just in case they think that I'm faking. Here is Sabrina's finger on her head. Mm -hmm. You grab her wrist, and without jerking her, just a good steady pull, try to pull her hand off her head. Okay. Oh, now <laughs> Brian is nine and very strong, and he couldn't do it. I'll bet nobody in your family will be able to do it. Try it on the friend and just say, I betcha. You'll get a lot of laughter, I've no doubt. I bet you if you'll only try it out. Oh, yes, we'll be there right on time. Just a moment, Lamb Chop. No, not you. Sorry. We'll hold it. No, no, not you. We'll be there. I'm so sorry. We'll be there right on time. Thank you very much. Now, what is it? How, how much is Jolly Horse getting paid? Getting paid for what? For going to the dentist. Who gets paid for going to the, denti the, the dentist? Well, every time I lose a tooth, I get 10 cents from the tooth fairy. Yeah, well, Charlie Horse isn't going to lose a tooth. Maybe he has a little cavity, that's all. What's a cavity? Well, a cav cavity is a little hole that you get in your tooth if you don't brush. I lost all my baby teeth, see? Ah! <laughs> yes, I know you did. And, and I made so much money from the tooth fairy. How much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? At ten cents a tooth? That's two hundred teeth. I got some from the other kids. I see. Yeah, I paid them five cents a tooth. How do you like that? A used tooth dealer. Sometimes I paid them a quarter. When did you pay them a quarter? When they weren't loose yet. Tic-tac-toe is a stupid game. I really do. I mean, everybody knows how to play. Everybody knows how to win. There's just no kick to it at all. You ought to play super tic-tac-toe. It's super. Here's the difference. With tic-tac-toe, you put two lines down, two lines across. You've done that. Well, with super tic-tac-toe, it's four lines down. One, two, three, four. And four lines across. One, two, three, four. Four, and then you play the same way. So if I put an X, you put a zero to block me. And then I put another X, whoop, you got to put a zero to block me. And so I put another X, and whoop, you got to put a zero to block me. And then I put uh, an X here, and you put a zero. Okay. Now, when your game board is all full, you tally up the score in a different way. Here's how you do that. Anytime anybody has three in a row, um, like one, two, three, in any direction, they get one point. If they have four, like one, two, three, four, you get two points. And if you have five, is this five? One, two, three, four. No, I didn't get five. If you do have five, you get three points. It's a lot more fun. It gives you a lot more play for your pen. And I think it's super. Tic-tac-toe. He's got play on him and play dentist with me. How you play dentist? It's just like playing doctor, only with teeth. Oh, Charlie Horse, he won't play dentist with me. That's because he's got to go to the dentist, and he's a reckless nerve. You mean he's a nervous wreck? What I mean is, he is a big sissy. <laughs> they called me a sissy. They didn't. They did. Terrible. And you know what? What? They're right. I'm a sissy. Oh, come on, Charlie Horse. I am going to be right there with you. Is it going to hurt? Charlie, there are things that you got to do, and then they're over. Yeah, then I'm afraid I'm going to embarrass myself. How would you do that? I'll cry. Charlie, that's okay. 
No, no, it's not. I'm supposed to be the big jit around here. Listen, when it's over, I will hold your huff. And if you want to cry, you cry. And if you want to sit in my lap, that's okay, too. You won't tell anybody. <laughs> my lips are sealed. I hope not, or I'm in a lot of trouble. Come on, let's go. Give me a knock-knock joke. Don't knock a knock-knock joke. They're always dumb. So tell me how come. After one, the laugh will bubble up. After four, I always double up. Don't be an old slow poke. Give me a knock-knock joke, please. Knock-knock. Who's there? William Tell. William Tell who? William Tell everybody to go home. <laughs> That was a knock-knock joke. I love a knock-knock joke. They can be awful, it's true. Still, I'm telling you, I love a knock-knock joke. Oh, well, you really dug green jelly holes? Are you kidding? The dentist kept telling me funny jokes, and I just howled through the whole thing. <laughs> oh, that do sound like a lot of fun. You know, this Doc Cameron. He's cool, you know? And his nurse gave me balloons and a whole bunch of toothbrushes. And I even got a yo-yo. Oh, and I love yo-yos. Oh, I love yo-yos. I mean, yo-yo is my middle name. Everybody calls me yo-yo. And Charlie Horse, make sure you use those toothbrushes. And I don't mean for splatter painting, Sherry. My teeth are gonna be so clean. <laughs> you could eat off them. What a good idea. Yes, uh, I like all well, that stuff you got. Well, now I got a new uh, toothbrush for you and a bloom for you. For me? <gasps> From your dentist? Right. Oh, Sherry, what? Tomorrow, what? Could I have the toothache? <laughs> when you look into a baby's mouth, you only see gums. But do you know what's hiding underneath? Most babies wouldn't know it when they're sucking their thumbs. But one day they'll discover they have teeth. And since you have teeth, we are going to brush your teeth. That's what you're going to sing. And do it with me. Come on. Brush your teeth. Got a toothbrush? But you think that was a finger? No, that's a toothbrush. And we're going to... Brush your teeth. Whenever you see the words brush your teeth on the screen, you sing and do brush your teeth. Come on, do it along with all of us as we play. Here we go. Brush your teeth twice a day. Brush your teeth. Don't delay every morning, each and every day. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Keep them white. Brush your teeth. Make them bright every morning, each and every night. You'll discover I got more than you kids have 20. Sounds like plenty, but they'll grow up and have 32. Some are little, some are big and fat, some are rounder, some are short and flat, some are narrow, some are very wide, some are pointy. Take a look inside. Brush your teeth. Twice a day. Brush your teeth. Don't delay, heed the warning, you can be decay. Brush your teeth. Brushing your teeth can be fun, wait and see. I know that when you are done, you'll agree. Get through life without a cavity, taking care of your teeth. Brushing your Brush teeth your can be fun, teeth. wait and see. I know that Brush when you are done, you'll agree. Get, Get through life, life without, without a cavity, cavity. taking Brush care of your teeth. teeth. Brush your teeth, good as new. Brush your teeth. If you do, they'll feel better after you are through. Brush your teeth. Brush A mystery. Oh, I love mysteries. Do you? Yeah, yes. Okay, you'll love this one. Now, you are driving a bus, and at the first stop, six people get on. Yeah. At the second stop, eight people get on. Yeah. At the third stop, two people get off. Yeah. At the next stop, everybody gets off. Yeah. And the question is, yeah. what color are the bus driver's eyes? What color do bus driver's eyes? 
How would I know that? The bus driver's eyes are black. How do you know? I know because the first thing I said was, you are driving a bus. Oh, I'm going to get you for that one. <laughs> Try it on a friend. Riddles are great fun, you know. We got a million or so. But look at the time now. It's late, so I'm afraid they'll have to wait till next time. Supposed to be napping. Yes, I am hungry. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so hungry. Hey, if you're so hungry, why didn't you eat the cookie I gave you five minutes ago? It's for the tooth fairy. For the tooth fairy? She doesn't want cookies. I'm all out of tea. <laughs> Go to sleep. No, 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 actually, what I meant to say is that I'm thirsty. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Here, 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 here. What, 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 what? Here's your milk. You didn't finish your milk. No, I... All right, I'll drink my milk. <sighs> there, I drank my milk. Good. But that wasn't what I needed. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm so hot. I need water. Water! Water! Lamp chop, stop crying wolf. I'm not crying wolf. I'm crying water! Water! Hey, I was referring to the story. What story? No. You are not going to sucker me into telling... No. I'm not going to tell me the story about the wolf. And I'll take a nap. It's not about a wolf. But you said... No, you said... No, you all know. You said you were hungry. You were... You were thirsty. You were hot. You were cold. And you weren't any of those things. What's this got to do with a wolf? All right. All right. I'm going to tell you the story. Oh, God. But first, you have to, um, you have to tell me something. What? Can you make the sound of a wolf? Ah, Good. Can you make the sound of a wolf? Just do it. Ah, Okay. Good. Can you make the sound of a lamb? Uh, what, what sound is that? Well... What does a lamb say? Or what do sheep say when they want to speak? Sheep? They say, hello, how are you, how's the family? No, 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 come on. Don't they say, ba? Not unless something is ba. Well, whenever I say sheep, you and you can go ba. Good. Oh, good, you're going to tell me the story? I'm going to tell you both the story. There once was a lonely shepherd boy Whose job was attending his father's flock He'd leave for the hills with the sheep And would stay till six o'clock What did he do? Of course he could play his flute all day But there was no excitement in that Or sometimes he'd pick daisies To decorate his hat Because I am that little shepherd boy. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, but that little boy was lonely. He wanted company the whole day through. But high on the hill with his sheep, there was simply nothing to do. So he thought. And he thought. And at last. So one day, without a thought at all, the shepherd boy began to call to the villagers down below, Help! A wolf Hello. is attacking! Help! Help! Get cracking! Move your legs as fast as they can go! When the villagers heard that cry of distress, they came from the village and from the farm. And quick as they could, they all ran up the hill to answer that false alarm. But there was no wolf. Hello. Just 
one shepherd boy and how he laughed at men. Ha, 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 you silly men. Who turned on their heels and walked down the hill to their little town again. That was a pretty good joke, huh? You really think so? Uh-oh, No sooner did they leave him when a wolf Owl. came from the wood. And the shepherd boy yelled after the men loudly as he could. Help! A wolf! A wolf! It's attacking! Help! Help! Get cracking! But where is everybody? No one believed that shepherd boy, so he fought by himself with a stick and a rock. I did? Uh-huh. But this time a wolf! Nappy, dear. Happy nappy? Are you kidding? A story about a wolf killing sheep? That doesn't lead to a happy nappy. Well, I didn't think you were going to take it personally. My name is Lamb Chop. One of those dead sheep could be my Aunt Sarah. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, sweet dreams. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that Slamming sound, and you like having lots of 